Making superhero costumes for the big screen is a tricky thing for costume designers. You want to make something that looks awesome, that's practical, but you also want to throw in a few personal touches to make it your own. Maybe most importantly is the fact that you have some pretty significant source material in the comic books the movie's based on. Well, as we'll see in this video, certain costume designers didn't really bother with that last point, because some superhero movie costumes look nothing like they do in the comics. Before we check those out, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That'll let you stay up to date with all our new stuff. Wolverine Hugh Jackman's final outing as Wolverine in 2017's Logan actually brought us a look that was pretty similar to the Old Man Logan comics. But leading up to his big finale as the character, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine didn't really look like his comic book counterpart at all. First off, as lots of fans have pointed out over the years, Jackman seems to be much taller than Wolverine in the comics, who seems to be built short and stocky, kind of like an actual Wolverine. There's also the fact that Wolverine had a pretty iconic yellow costume in the comics that Hugh Jackman never put on, although he did come close. Aquaman For all the so-so reviews that Justice League received when it hit theaters in 2017, a lot of people agreed that Jason Momoa made a pretty awesome Aquaman. But if the filmmakers had decided to try to make the character comic book accurate, we're not so sure this stylish actor would have got the role. Rather than give the character his standard short blonde hair and orange shirt with green pants, Zack Snyder went a different route giving him long dark hair and armor and tattoos. And honestly, we're pretty happy they went that way with it. Hawkeye a lot of MCU characters are instantly recognizable. Even if there are slight variations in their costumes from the comics, you still understand right away who they're supposed to be. But Hawkeye looks so different from his comic book counterpart that if nobody had mentioned his name in the movies, he could have just been a random character who's good with a bow and arrow. The filmmaker's decision here is pretty understandable though, because comic book Hawkeye goes pretty hard on the purple. Also having him wear a mask wouldn't really make that much sense, seeing as he definitely needs his peripheral vision. He's also not really trying to protect a secret identity or anything. Deadpool. We're lucky enough to have a very comic book accurate Deadpool now thanks to the sheer determination of Ryan Reynolds. But the first big screen appearance of the character was kind of baffling. Although Ryan Reynolds also played him in X-Men Origins Wolverine, they decided to go in a completely different direction with the character. Without even getting into his power set, which made no sense, they went with a weird shirtless version of Deadpool with black lines across his chest. Not to mention, they fused his mouth shut. Needless to say, this was way off from comic book Deadpool and we're all in a much better place now. Scarlet Witch Elizabeth Olsen, who plays Scarlet Witch in the MCU, has recently revealed that she's not super comfortable in her character's costume. She says she's pretty much the only hero that has to fight while showing visible cleavage and wearing a corset. That is true, and we imagine it must be pretty uncomfortable during fight scenes. But we're not sure she'd really like the comic book accurate version of her character's costume much more. Running around in a leotard with a cape and a headband seems a lot more uncomfortable. Olsen's version of the character actually seems pretty tame in comparison. What do you think of these superhero costumes? Should the filmmakers have made them more comic book accurate? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Screen Rant for more videos like this one.